Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, The Christian Mechanic. Uh, this time I got a Pittsburgh Pro. This is a digital torque adapter. This is great. This thing can be used for anything. All you have to have is a, a ratchet and you'll be able to turn it into a torque adapter. Now this, uh, this one here is a uh, Pittsburgh Pro brand. They have Quinn, they have, uh, they have some other brands of them here. But it does come with instructions. Um, and it comes with the piece itself. Now it does, uh, it's for a, a half inch drive, but I, I guess you could use uh, adapters to go in there, but I would just stick with the half, half inch drive because then you could mess up your, uh, if you're torquing something down, because then you probably would have to do conversions. But it does come with uh, two reducers that you can put on the end here. This is half inch to three eighths and then a half inch to a uh, quarter inch. I've had this thing for quite a few years now um, it works fine um, I just bought it because I wanted to get a real real precise reading I know there's uh the turn style click ones you can kind of just set it set it where you want it but you know this one here you can actually see how much torque that it, you're actually putting out when you're reading the gauge here and these uh, it comes with a battery but the battery died and um, <laughs> I put a new battery in and I bought these batteries from Harbor Freight. They're three something for this pack here. And I <laughs> basically did one calibration with it and it was already flashing with the low battery. So I had to put a new battery in it already. It's only a, not even a day old. So I'm going to do a new, new battery in here. I'll go over with you with it. We'll just all read through it. Instructions. But these are uh, CR20 and 32 uh, batteries. They're 3 volt batteries. And then we'll just take a little quick look at the instructions here. Now this one here says record product serial number here. And there is a sticker on here with a serial number. So these do come with a serial number um, right here. This is the serial number for mine. The only number that I could find on here is a laser etched number that's right on this piece here and it's three seven zero four eight one five three one but i'm not sure what that's for uh only other writing is right here on the side of it here it says digital torque adapter it has the model number six eight two three eight or six eight two eight three and it says square drive half inch and it has your ranges it says from 29 and a half to 147 and a half foot pounds or 40 to 200 newton meters and it says hand use only so you're not supposed to put this on uh, any kind of impact or rat or you know mechanic uh, battery operated tool you're supposed to do this but with only uh, a hand tool a hand ratchet um also on here now i tested mine with the digital thing and mine actually went down to 7.4 pounds so you could go actually go below that um we got that on here it says auto shut down after 80 seconds, stores up to 50 torque readings. It says accuracy plus or minus 2%. Talks about the adapters. It says servicing. It says just basically to keep it clean. Don't put nothing on the plastic material because it could destroy it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to set it just for uh, 10 pounds. And we'll just... Uh, Just see what it does and they hold the button down it goes faster or you can just click it one at a time I mean that's as fast as it'll go right there so we'll set it on 10 pounds I just set it on 11 it's not that big of a deal All right so we'll set it on 11 stick it on my ratchet here okay let's uh go ahead and give it a go here down and we'll just uh, put some torque on it and that's what it'll do it'll start beeping when it gets close to the 20 percent and then once it reaches the 11 it'll give you a solid beep and we'll go again nine and then once it reaches 11 it'll hit so that's when you would stop so this is a uh, pretty simple stuff here to use this thing here we'll just take another look Turn it off with the off button, and then we'll look at the thing here. It says to increase the torque, decrease the torque. That's your memory button at the bottom. And then your peak and trace. 
That's what this top button does. The P and the T it says peek and trace here on the directions. But like I said, there's your LED light. So this is really simple to use. I think it was around 50 bucks or so. But it's a great little tool. I definitely would recommend it to anybody who doesn't want to spend all that money on buying a big giant torque wrench. This one, this thing works just fine, and it's digital too, so it's great. But anyway, everybody, I just want to thank you for watching, and uh, just uh, have a blessed day. Thank you, everyone.